While the COVID-19 vaccine policy is undergoing some big changes, shots will no longer be recommended for healthy children and pregnant women, according to Health Secretary Robert F. Kennedy Jr. That decision, though, is raising big concerns among some medical experts and doctors. Let's get the facts from Dr. Paul Offit. He's the director of the Vaccine Education Center at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you. Can you just talk about the changes with this recommendation that you're seeing? Well, there are two bad recommendations. One is to say that it should be shared clinical decision making for getting vaccines for your child, your healthy child. Now, it, it's it's if you look at the data, and these are the CDC's own data, mm -hmm. that over the past year, 150 children died from COVID. Half of them were perfectly healthy. 6,600 children were hospitalized with COVID. Half of them were previously healthy. So what they should have said is that this vaccine is recommended for children, that by the time you're six months of age, you are fully susceptible to this virus, which continues to circulate, and you could be a cause to be either be hospitalized or killed by this virus. It should be a clear, firm recommendation. In terms of yearly dosing, that can be shared clinical decision making, but not in terms of the primary dose. Interesting. You and many other medical experts don't recommend that you do what right. they're saying to do. Were you surprised by this decision? Because they didn't follow standard protocol, which would usually come from the CDC. So what are people supposed to do? Right. No, what, what RFK Jr. did this is he just unilaterally made this decision as if it was standard, handed down on stone tablets from on high. He never allowed for public comment. He never allowed for expertise in, in terms of the Advisory Committee for Immunization Practice. And regarding pregnant people, I mean, the, the we know that pregnancy is, is an increased risk for this disease, that you're more likely to be hospitalized and more likely to die if you're pregnant as compared to re women of reproductive age who, who are not infected. You know that. That's why it was an urgent recommendation when that vaccine first came out for pregnant women. And so um, by by uh, what well, the irony of this is, is that, that Marty McCary, who's the FDA commissioner, just days ago published a paper in the New England Journal of Medicine listing pregnancy as a high risk category. Then four days later, he's standing next to Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and saying we're not recommending it, which is it in any case. It should be recommended for pregnant women. And also many of the children who died were less than six months of age. Mm. Therefore, the only way they could have been protected is if their their mom was vaccinated, which she could then transfer antibodies to the baby, which would protect the baby in the first six months of life. Another reason to vaccinate pregnant women. It's so confusing yeah. right? when you get all of this different information out there from, you know, government sources and science, all this discussion. How are you actually discussing this with concerned parents and your patients? Well, I'm trying to make the best recommendation, but you're right, it is confusing. I think Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has for 20 years been an anti-vaccine activist and science denialist, and now anti-vaccine activity isn't just sort of shouting from the sidelines. They're making policy, and that's what's happening. I think this is just the beginning of RFK Jr.'s war on vaccines. Okay, so let's say you go to your doctor and they say what you were saying, that you're a pregnant woman or you have a young baby and you should get the vaccine. Part of what I've read is the complication here is that insurance coverage follows federal recommendations. And so that even if you want it now, then maybe the shot could be $200 as opposed to free. Right. So insurance companies will make that decision. I, I, I hope they make the right decision because it's, it's in their interest to make the right decision. I mean, if you don't vaccinate, don't cover vaccination, then there's more likely that that child or that pregnant person would be hospitalized or worse. And that is only more expensive for them. So the, the right decision is prevention. Are you concerned with this being discussed? Do you have concerns about flu shots and other, you know, could other vaccines come under attack? Sure. Well, you're, you're seeing measles epidemics it, it, right now that we haven't seen in really 30 years. We have three people who've died of measles, two of whom were children. We haven't seen a child death from measles since 2003. You have 216 cases of deaths from influenza in children this year. We haven't seen that level since 2009. You have pertussis or whooping cough that's causing deaths in states that hadn't seen deaths in years. And this is RFK Jr. saying he wants to ignore infectious diseases, and that's exactly what he's doing. But those infectious diseases aren't ignoring us. Right. We just saw the cancer cancellation of the bird flu vaccine as yep. well. Dr. Paul Offit, we could talk about this a lot more, but we're out of time. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you.